Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Steve Alexander here. I've got some tips for you guys today. So um, check out this intro and then we'll jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back, Steve Alexander. Hey, I promised we'd be getting into some tutorials and some product reviews. So today is kind of a double whammy. Um, actually, about to record uh, some audio um, footage for uh, for you guys talking about microphones, sound sound engineering, uh, different products you can use, different microphones, and different software you can use as well. Got a guy coming over, Dan Kazda, Mr. DK Vocals. We've worked together on a couple of projects, and the guy's just, he's awesome. He knows what he's talking about when it comes to that stuff. And I asked him to put together a little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of a product review on microphones and different levels of those, because you can get into some stuff and like, oh, yeah, man, I get this amazing sound. Oh, really? How much was that microphone? Oh, it was only like $4,000. And you're like, yeah, that's nice. Good luck. So, um, so I want to talk about today, though, while we're getting ready for that, actually going to do a little bit of a preempt, and we're going to go out and shoot in a little while. It's, it's a little raining right now here, um, but a little bit later on at sunset, we're going to do a shot, and uh, I'm going to explain why. Below here, your eyes, uh, nose, and chin area can be problem areas if you're shooting video and photography. Um, and it's going to sound crazy, but right now I'm literally holding up a piece, uh, a cake box. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but a cake box is actually work out. I happen to have them around the house. Um, and my point to this is you can use anything that reflects light back to work as a reflector um, or a diffuser. So I'm actually going to hold this up. I'm going to pull this out here and show you guys. Literally, I have a big white piece of cardboard here and so you see how it fills in below here like kind of this lower area because um, it's pretty warm up top I've got light coming in I'm still just up here in the living room I'm trying to get some stuff set up downstairs to make it look presentable but literally it looks worse today than it did like last week or before I went away because I've now completely ripped all my bags apart trying to get everything together for the Milwaukee uh, job I've got out uh, in the middle of September, which is three weeks away. So I'm gonna just move this for a second though, this cardboard, just to give you an idea of like how much this is actually doing to give a, a fill. And, and fill creates softness. You have this really, you can have really harsh shadows and sometimes that, that's what you want. Um, but for a lot of portraiture and a lot of this kind of like vlogging, blogging stuff, you want something a little little bit more even. Um, and so I'm gonna move this for a second just to kind of see how much see how much darker that got down here, which is fine too. You know, you can have that if you want kind of that talking head kind of a look, you can do that. But if you want, take the same thing, just stick it right under here and just bend it up a little bit and it fills in nice. Now, this obviously is like nothing. It's a piece of white cardboard. I've talked about this. I mentioned this before, you can pick those up at like Walmart or Target or someplace, but this is a really small reflector, super small. I like small ones because I can travel with them. I'm always thinking about getting stuff in a bag or something. So this little thing, see how small it is? It's, it's one foot, it's 12 inches wide, but I open this up and bam, that sucker's big. Now I've got it on the foil side or the silver side because I needed more pop. Um, you usually have on these three to four to five different uh, finishes. So this has got a silver, it's got a gold, it's got a white, and it's got a black. So here's a silver now. See how much this one really pops up a lot of light. And that's what you want. You want something where you've got a light out here, you've got maybe a light out here, they're facing your subject, they're, they're flashing, and um, you usually want those lights just above eye level um, or a little bit higher even, at least 45 degrees from the subject. And then you've got this light, this little sucker down here, and it's bouncing up the light. Um, and for me right now, it's killing it. Like that's almost too much below because I'm losing my chin. And I, you know, I'm a little sensitive about that lately. But anyway, but um, so that you just nice softness. So that's one. And these are fairly inexpensive. A lot of the stuff you'll find, I use a lot of newer products because they just are good. There's the gold side. There's a white side and this itself 
is a diffuser. And that's great, you can shoot light through it. You can also use it as a reflector too and a pinch if you want something super soft. Um, so you have that one. So love that one. If you want something a little bit bigger, this is my, I love this thing. It's, it's actually, um, it's something that Jerry Gionis, if you don't know who he is, check him out. He's probably one of the best wedding photographers in the world. It's my opinion and a lot of other people's. But he came up, he <clears throat> got together with Wes Scott um, and he designed this Omega. The difference of this, I'm gonna open this up really fast for you guys to see. It's a little bit different. So whenever you're shooting with a reflector, one of the biggest challenges is kind of getting around the, the reflector. Especially if um, what we're gonna look at this evening um, is sunset shots. So stuff where sun's going down or you have a very backlit situation and your subject is in front of that light and between, so here's your light, here's your subject, here you are, you're shooting this way. So with a light coming from behind your subject this way and you're facing this way, they're gonna be a silhouette essentially. They're gonna be blacked out. So a lot of times you want that beautiful, bright background, sunlight, sunset, whatever, sunrise, whatever it is, car lights behind, uh, but our subject's gone. And the problem with that is reflectors then are kind of useless because there's not enough light coming from behind to really light up your subject unless you can get really close to them. And then when you get really close to them, now you gotta like work around your reflector. Well, this little sucker, solves that problem. Look at that. You can take the center out and shoot right through it. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. That's brilliant. You put this on a tripod. I had this solid because I was using it as a reflector, bouncing up like I was before and I needed a bigger one at the beach. Um, has a whole bunch of different colors. It's got your white, got your silver, it's got a black, it's got a gold as well. And these suckers, watch this, it's just like, and it's gone. And it's little again. So anyway, Westcott makes that, it's killer. I'll link this one, Jerry Guillonis, brilliant. Check him out, I'll, maybe I'll link him too, I guess, why not? Because he's just freaking awesome. Um, and it comes in a cool bag, and it also comes in this bag, it's got a, a second pouch um, so that you have your matching uh, center pieces. So you can pop those in the center and they'll match up, which is really awesome. I mean, it, this is a really great product. And then that kind of brings you to uh, what I really kind of wanted to start off here with is um, this sucker right here. This is the Orlet. RT601, it's a radio controlled, meaning wireless, and it's battery powered. I did a review about a year ago. Actually, a lot of people looked at it. I was pretty impressed. I got people responding and everything. It was insane, actually. I didn't know what was happening. Um, but it's pretty, comes in this cool little case. Doo -doo. There it is. I'm not gonna pull everything out right now because you're gonna see it in a little bit while. But um, I will tell you this. When I originally bought it, I was shooting Nikon. I've been shooting Nikon forever until then and then i switched to the best camera system in the world right now mirrorless which is sony there's no question about it don't argue don't write anything in the comments below it's not better than sony it's not i'm sorry sorry no 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 so nothing in comparison i'm saying i mean when you're talking about a red or something that's not a mirrorless first of all so it doesn't compare or a c100 200 300 nope not also the same and by the way they're like eight thousand dollars so stop it um but for like 1900 bucks, under $2,000, you can pick up an A7 III, Sony A7 III, just unbeatable. Sorry, Sony, uh, you are the best. You have to admit you're the best. Um, and I love them, I absolutely love them. So uh, we're gonna be shooting that, and uh, Orlet came out with a Sony receiver. So when they first came out, brand new, I couldn't get one. And it took a couple months and then Orlet finally came out with a receiver for the Sony. So I can shoot high speed sync. I'm gonna explain all this in the video in a little bit. But um, I want you to check this out. All right, hey guys, I've got Rebecca. She's right there. We've got our flash here. And um, we don't have a big, beautiful, sunny sunset today. We've got kind of overcast. And overcast is great because it makes a nice even light. If you want a kind of a dramatic look, which is what we're going here for. Um, you want a little bit more of a direct light. So we don't have that. So what we're doing is we've got a tree kind of behind us there. We've got a little bit of sky. We're gonna shoot first without our flash on. So we've got our flash unit off. Gonna kind of give you an idea what that would look like. It's gonna be kind of flat. 
Um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna meet her for the sky. Rebecca will probably look a little darker than we'd like. Then we'll f we'll flip that on and see what kind of a look we can get with the flash going and our thinking for the sky still, but with that light popping on her. So let's take a look and see how that goes. So we're taking a couple shots here of Rebecca and we can kind of see she's looking a little muted and the sky looks kind of bright-ish. Again, we don't have the beautiful sunset we would have liked, but you can see she kind of looks flat and we really want her to pop. So we're gonna get one more shot here of her and, you know, great smile, but just not really popping off the page. So we're turning the flash on. And we're gonna see a pretty dramatic difference here. Take a peek at this one and let me know if you don't think it's a big difference. Bam. Big separation. Great color, rich. Nice dynamic range. And we still got a good sky, but our model's looking great. Great color on her. And had we had a big, beautiful sunset, we would have balanced that out. And you'd have a big, beautiful sunset, lots of definition in the background, as well as a stunning looking model or bride or graduate or whatever it is and we're gonna do some fun kind of jumps here we're shooting at high speed sync now so we're over 200th of a second of our shutter speed <clears throat> so we're freezing her we still got some nice definition in the background and that light will just stop her cold boom overall i think that looks much better so we're going to just uh, take a peek. All right. Hold that there. All right. So let's go back inside. I'll show you what we got. See you guys inside. Bye. So I've got our two images here from our shoot. These are pretty similar. And I think you can see pretty dramatically. The one on the left, um, it's not terrible, but you just don't have a lot of definition. It's pretty flat. Skin tones are not really awesome, and uh, although we do have a you know a kind of a background uh, lighting from the sky, um, if this was any brighter and there was any more definition, if you had more colors in there, um, like for a nice sunset, big beautiful sunset, trying to meter for her face and skin would completely blow out the background. So on the right. We have flash used um, at a balance that this sky, although it's not perfectly metered because we're really going for skin tone and to accentuate the flash, um, had we had a big, beautiful, bright sunset, that would easily have retained all of its color and all of its the information. So remember one thing, in digital world, white, something that's pure white, is absent of any digital information. There's no, there's nothing to recover from it. Uh, on the other side of that, if something's underexposed dramatically, like really dark, all of the information is actually still there. Not that cameras completely see in the dark, but they can be uh, used far more usefully after the fact, should you underexpose, as opposed to overexposing. So. The flash here uh, would provide you with exactly what you're looking for if you wanted to pull that sky out, pull out some big bright colors of a big beautiful sunset, <laughs> which we didn't have here, um, and then you'd still have beautiful, which uh, remember our, our subject we need to be clear on is our, is our model, um, and we want that to look the best. So we meet her. Uh, to compensate so that she looks the best. So if this was a bride and a groom or a model or engagement photos or just a model shoot of some type, you would want to um, make sure that uh, you were metering for the couple, not the background. So anyway, kind of give you a little bit of a insight into how you can achieve this really easily using a flash. 
So now we're going to head back to the studio, which is my living room, of course, and uh, we're going to check out some modifiers I just picked up. Do a quick unboxing them, reveal, explain what they are, how you can utilize them. <laughs> Now, I love these guys. They kind of double, triple package everything. And thanks to Amazon's like massive oversized box, um, your stuff usually comes in really good shape. So you get it in this box, this little bag, it's just a sleeve. And you can just kind of get rid of that. Uh, and then you've got another bag. I guess you want to hold on to this one. Uh, it's got a little number too. You might want to keep that someplace in case you want to order the same ones because they're hard to pick out online when you're just looking at a picture on the screen. So definitely hang on to that little tag there so that you know which one to reorder. Or of course you can always go to your Amazon uh, previous orders or buy again section and you'll find it there. So uh, newer, this is what it looks like. Basically, I, these are umbrella soft boxes and you'll, you'll see in a second why. Inside, this is the, the material. Uh, it's like a scrim kind of. Uh, and this is the diffuser. So hang on to this. We'll ultimately stuff this in there, but we'll just kind of show you. So these are awesome. They open up just like an umbrella. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just appear behind this for a second so you can kind of see how it opens up. And in there, you just push it open. Bam! It's four feet. Nice. It's kind of hard to get the whole thing in here and be close enough, but it's a awesome awesome umbrella it's got a cutout zipper here on the bottom and your flash and all will come up through here with a pole and that's going to connect we're going to show you that later but uh, you can also put this on a video pole with a bracket and shoot your light this way and really expand the the range of your video light so i love these i just kind of wanted to show you these this was only 37 bucks. That's the reason I really was impressed with this. Um, you can find comparable ones to this. Now, I use these. I have ones just like this already. I needed two new ones because I needed more. Not that there was anything wrong with the old ones. Um, they are phenomenal. They're, they're a good build. Um, they're, they're maybe not the best build in the world you're ever gonna find anywhere but they are a good build. For $37, they're an amazing build. They're just awesome. Um, with your diffuser material, I'm not gonna put this all together at the moment, but uh, I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna link this down though for you guys. So if you're looking for a soft box, and the nice thing with these are, they're a little bit deeper, so you can really, really cover some ground with this. Uh, I'll be using these with the, uh, the Alien Bees the B800s, the 322nd watt flash, and uh, we're doing about 50 presidential headshots um, for a company uh, organization. So we're gonna have dual headshot stations set up. Um, and these make it so that I can actually have a single front light with a reflector down below and a side card reflector. Um, and then just one pop in the back on the background. So I'm eliminating two lights in each setup, which makes my life so happy, so much better. So that is a lifesaver for me. When I have to travel on a plane and you don't want to carry 10,000 pounds of gear or ship 10,000 pounds of gear somewhere, um, that's a lifesaver there. So 37 bucks, uh, you can't beat that. It's a killer deal. So anyway, thanks for checking this out today. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. It'd be nice. You know what I mean when I say questions? You know what I mean. You know who you are. Be nice. So anyway, um, you guys have a great week. I've got another video coming out on Thursday. It is killer. I, I've not laughed so much, I don't know, probably in 20 minutes, as I laughed when we made that video. Anyway.